most shamefully on the <coughs> ABC, to claim that Australians were too stupid to understand the voice. Now, Michael, were over 60% of Australians too stupid, or do you think the majority understood Albanese's racial bureaucracy perfectly well, and that is why they rejected it? Well, I think there, there, are, a number of, there are a number of issues. Uh, Australians do care about uh, our Indigenous peoples and, and their welfare. And, you know, there's that, that was sort of being used against them. And, um, look, Aristotle's art of persuasion was about actually talking to people to convince them that your argument's right. And you don't do that by insulting them. And there was an insult to uh, the majority of the population's intelligence by not telling them what the voice actually was. And it, you can see this in the, uh, the criticism of voters coming from the elite activists. They're basically saying that um, it was a advisory body that was non-binding, but nowhere did it actually say that in the proposed constitutional amendment. I mean, if the constitutional amendment had said this is a non-binding uh, advisory body that can speak to government and remove executive government, these things could have been addressed and it could have been very different. And it's really interesting that Peter Dutton got a lot of the blame for this. And it, it really sort of beggars belief that they think that the No campaign, with its less funds, less volunteers, was able to convince Australians that things were different. And, and if that's the case, then why didn't their well-funded campaign actually convince Australians if Australians are that dumb? And the, the fact is that Australians aren't mugs, and if you treat them like that, then they're not going to go along with what was proposed. And, it, look, it's a, it, I don't think it's a celebration. I think it was a very sad day for Indigenous peoples, and I think many of them had their hopes... Uh, up because of the Prime Minister sort of pushing this and the way that it was spoken about. And at the, at the same time, uh, I, I think Australians saw this for what it was, virtue signalling, and all of the areas that voted yes in the majority were the virtue-signalling uh, virtue capitals of Australia.